time to do carpool Q and A. And look who we picked up! It's only town oh, friends from Netflix. It's queer, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! We are so lucky. I'm so excited. I'll tell you how. We're doing a little project for Tan right now, and we're designing his closet. So excited! It's so beautiful. We, it's so beautiful. We actually just finished presenting the closet to him, and um, we want to know what you think, Tan. Okay. So, uh, can we backtrack just a little bit? Yeah, of course. Okay, so, I finally purchased my dream home last year and I've done the rest of my home pretty much exactly how I wanted it to be. However, the final piece was my closet. I needed to find the right company to do the closet of my dreams. And of course, I reached out to Alice Lane. She's been working with some very close friends of mine. She's worked with the likes of Rachel Parcell and Carol Loren. <laughs> and the closets you did for them are gorgeous. That's okay. some of the best closets I've ever seen. Actually, you did you do Emily's too? Yeah. Okay, Rachel, I love you, but Emily's is the best closet I've ever seen. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I love Emily's closet. Oh, it's incredible. Good. That shoe too. wall yes. is just, yeah, gorgeous. So, so um, well, don't forget we're building a new house for Rachel, so you don't know what's up our I'm sure home. it's wonderful, but up, to, like, up until now, up until now, that's your favorite. Emily's is my favorite. Yes. Um, but, so yeah, so it was really important to find the right place, the right person, and it just so happens to be this beauty here. Yay, um, yeah. And they showed me um, designs, the initial designs for the closet today, and I like to believe I, it was, I had no comments. Like, I like to believe that you nailed it, like, Yay. in one, one attempt. She had Yay. no words. She had no words. Uh, no, no criticism. No. Oh, I wish this would change. Like everything was gorgeous. Um, so they they spent some time in my house. They spent like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, looking through the space. They also really got to know who I was through my Instagram, which was really important um, because they made it very much bespoke closet. This is what I didn't want. I didn't want the closet of one of my blogger friends because uh, I'm not female. Yeah. I mean, I okay. like a lot of uh, I like a lot of uh, female stuff, Weird. but um, but yeah, I really didn't want a female closet. And you guys did a beautiful job of making sure that it's it's it feels masculine still. And I'm hoping that you notice know, throughout the house, it, I don't think it feels like a really feminine house. No. It feels like a home that hopefully some stylish gay men live in. And totally. I want that to be the case when you go to my closet. And I think that's exactly what it's going to be. The tones are exactly what I love. I've got a lot of green in my home, especially on the ground floor. You guys are incorporating a lot of green into the closet, um, but it still feels very different from the rest of the house, but still in keeping. It's still, it's so much better than I could have ever done, so it feels different from Yay. the rest of the house, but it still feels very much in keeping. Oh, good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, we were trying for that. Also, Tan does have a beautiful home, and so, you know, that can be intimidating where he has his own style. It feels I think really unique to you, which it should because you're so fashionable Thank you. that you're always going to choose the less common thing. So it doesn't feel like anybody else's house. Yeah. That we always love that as designers. If somebody has a point of view and an opinion. And an opinion, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the home is historically great. And then just the way you dressed it is so wonderful. You're going to have to nice. entertain there. Will you entertain there? Oh, we entertain so all the time. Every, yeah. every week. Um, that I'm home, we have our closest friends over. Um, what makes it easy is that we have a home now where we can entertain. My dining table sits 12 people, and so when I want to eat in Utah, I bring people over to my home, and that's how we entertain, which I love. So yeah, okay, so, and that's why the home is so important to me. I needed it to be uh, the most beautiful version of my idea of a perfect home because. That is my sanctuary more now than ever before. I know everybody's home is their safe space, yeah. the place that they cherish. But for me, have, with life being so difficult to live outside of the home now, and uh, with, privately, it's so much more important to make sure that the home is incredible and beautiful and calming and quiet and, yeah, yeah. my escape. Yes, yeah. yes, and you guys look so good in your space. And I feel like you dressed it. Oftentimes when people want us to do design work for them, they're like, I don't know, I don't know who I am. That's why I'm calling you over yeah. to do what you do in my space. But then you're like, sometimes we are like, will you show us what's in your closet? Yeah. Because those are decisions that you've made of things that look good on you. It gives yeah. us a really good sense of their aesthetic, how casual they are versus how dressy. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes people think they want this really fancy dressy space so that they look successful yeah but then you look in their closet and they're very casual yeah and so doing a high-end casual look is still super sophisticated but yeah. it just matches their lifestyle yeah. how they want to live and yeah. I think you can take so many cues from the way you dress and so we were super excited to stare at your Instagram to watch your show to understand your aesthetic and what would fit into your lifestyle for your closet question yeah for you yes. I know you're interviewing me but I'm questions for you yeah were you nervous at all about no. what I might think we were excited. I, so. I, I think think we were like jazzed. I felt really excited okay. um, to show you. And I also know that like because you have an opinion that it would be a really good give and take. I never for a minute thought he's gonna hate it. Yeah. I just knew that you would be intrigued and maybe you'd go, maybe not this, but what about that? Or whatever. Um, we we never dreamed that you would just be like, that's it. Nailed it. I, I feel really flattered, A, that you chose us to do your closet, but B, that you really, really like it on yeah. the first try. Yeah, and That's anyone cool. out there who knows me from the show, you know, if I've got an opinion, it's always told. <laughs> if I don't like something, I always say, yeah. So That's you cool. know for a fact that I did love it. Like it, when I'm quiet and I'm just positive about the situation, it's because I have nothing else to say. I have no, no comments that need to be made oh, because it really was fantastic oh, like even so down great. to the textures right the fact that you found velvets knowing that I already love velvet I've got a couple of pieces in the house you, you took the time to look elsewhere uh -huh. to make sure it made sense for us yeah you've not tried to impose your cool or trendy or your own ideas that that you, you may love yeah. you've made it so much more about what we would want which is so important. I love that. A, a space that you live in, a space that you spend a lot of time in, really can affect your mood, who you totally. are, how you feel. Yeah. Um, and Bobby talks out about that a lot on the show. Mm -hmm. When you're in your space, you want it to feel calming and very much you, because when you're getting ready in the morning, that can affect your mood. Yeah. And I do feel like this is going to affect my mood when I get dressed in the morning. I'm going to feel joy and yes. comfort and yeah. I'm yeah. really excited about and it. It's your space. Yeah. Uniquely yeah. designed for you, but also to accommodate the challenges of of the space. That yeah. You made those like lemons into lemonade. Yeah. You know, and I yeah. those are kind of our favorite spaces, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. That when we have the this trickier. tricky thing. And also my favorite spaces are always gonna be a small space. Yeah. Because everything feels so intimate and every detail really, really counts. Yeah. And I do the absolute most and yeah. the absolute best in small space. Yeah. Totally. Actually, we should explain this to you also then, viewers at home watching this. The reason why our space is difficult is because they, they are sloped ceilings. Do what do Americans call them? Vaulted yeah, ceilings? Vaulted ceilings. Vaulted ceilings. They're vaulted uh -huh. ceilings. So the space is actually large for the walk-in closet. It's a whole really floor. Yeah. Um, so it runs the whole, uh, the whole width of the house. However, they are vaulted ceilings. So it, it it's is... It's an attic. Yeah, it's yeah. it's difficult. Like it really is. It's not an easy space to dress. See, up until now, the the oh, well before we moved in, it was used as a bedroom, which I understand. However, it's just off the the master bedroom, my bedroom, um, and so it makes sense to have the closet there. That our bedroom, mine and Rob's bedroom, has um, two very small closets in it, and it could fit probably a regular person's wardrobe at a push. Um, I am not. A regular boy I like a lot of clothes <laughs> a lot of clothes I shop for you know for a hundred people and so they're brightening the space so that space up in the, the attic makes so much sense I even think it's gonna smell amazing in there oh it is do you think oh, oh yes, I yes. know it is yeah uh, yeah, that, yeah it's, it will always smell beautiful yeah it's gonna smell a little bit like leather uh-huh a little bit like cologne or perfume yeah, yeah. yeah. I it, just think all of your beautiful things are yep. going to give back to the space yep. in such a huge way. Uh, Tan, how many shoes exactly do you have? Okay, I know it's between <laughs> two, I know it's between three and four hundred, but I know what I've already got coming for uh, future projects. I know that by the end of the year it'll be at least eight hundred. I'm about to outgrow my closet already. Yeah. Yeah, and we just moved in three months ago and we're here. We're here. Gorgeous. And that's a wrap. Thanks, Tan. Thank you Carpooling for having me. Carpooling with you, you is so enlightening. 
Thanks. Oh, yes. I really appreciate that. That was really fun. And you guys look out for this closet we're going to be posting real soon because it's incredible. It's, so it's incredible. I'm so, so excited so about good. it. Right. I'm going to love you and leave you.